Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is still in this uptrend. We're still forming higher highs and higher lows. I shared with you over the last few weeks regularly that I'd like to see the price in this cycle reach our cycle target area. And that, that has been on the chart for many, 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 many weeks, uh, months, actually, not just weeks, months, actually, um, since we've bottomed there in August because that allowed us to calculate a possible target range between 368 and 489. Obviously, we can see further extensions, but this is sort of a milestone target area the price is pushing towards. And it's always important not to get too focused on the micro count. People get nervous if the price dips two to 3%, but Solana is actually quite strong at the moment and it's pushing towards this area. And I think we still haven't seen a fourth wave and then there should still be a fifth wave at some point. Micro counting here is very messy because we're likely dealing with some kind of a diagonal pattern. But overall, ideas we're still in the third wave. The support area for this fourth wave is communicated on the smaller time frame. And it's very much possible that in this fourth wave, we're just testing that trend channel from above, right? So we could see a pullback and then from there a continuation higher. And that could complete the cycle for Solana. A lot of coins still lagging behind. We'll see who can or which coin can catch up. But looking at the smaller time frame for Solana as well, we're still printing higher highs and higher lows. I mean, as long as we are not even breaking below that $212 level, there's no sign at all that a, uh, a substantial top has formed and this wave four has started. Um, okay, you know, the last swing low is located at 229. So minimally a break below that level is needed to indicate that at least a local top has formed. Then we can pay attention to this trend line, which only has really two touch points, but I've added it to the chart. I don't see it as too reliable. But the main takeaway is that once we see a move below 229, followed by a move below 212, it could indicate that at least, um, well, maybe a wave two internally is unfolding, but probably this wave four. So this is what I would track based on the extensions now. I think it's quite reasonable to assume that the yellow third wave might be nearly done. A pullback is due in wave four, but as I explained over the recent weeks, further upside extensions would actually look quite good because the um, otherwise, you know, we go to the we go to the larger chart. The if the third wave isn't extended, the, the fourth wave, if it's deep and, you know, in the diagonal, it can be deep, then the, the fifth wave might not reach the target area. So it's actually quite good if the third wave gets a little higher, forms extensions. Then once the fourth wave forms, we can add support. It has to be adjusted until the top is in place. That can be an opportunity to maybe trade the fifth wave up. So in the very short term, I'm just watching for signals that we get a pullback. Can't be confirmed yet. Extensions can still happen. We're still printing higher highs, higher lows, but um, a pullback shouldn't surprise anyone at this stage, right? I think it's getting quite likely for other coins as well, just this wave four but um, we just need to be patient until um, also Bitcoin, you know, finishes its current local uptrend. And we could get one more high. I mean, even here, you know, this fifth wave there might extend a little bit higher. Next upside levels are 262 and 278. I would pay attention to these as well. And then once we get a break below those previous swing lows, I think this pullback is what many people are waiting for to maybe add some more positions in a support area. But for now, um, I mentioned some support levels for you until we break below 159. I don't see this overall uptrend as broken. Yeah, I'm talking about the overall uptrend below 159. That would be indeed a bit too deep for that larger degree um, fourth wave. We can actually add that to the long term chart as well. But yeah, that would be a bit too deep. Uh, but you can see there is there is a potential. We're just going to test this um, range from above, right? And then continue higher. That would be ideal because this is where the Fibonacci area meets the trend line from the range. Yeah, that's the update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.